Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is an awesome day to boost our Etsy shop. Hey, I'm Pam Duthie and for the month of August, we're gonna be making one small change every single day to our Etsy shop. That gets us in the habit, the healthy habit of keeping little and often working on our shop, which really helps us get noticed by Etsy. And what things should we think about for today? How about joining a community? One thing that really helps you stay motivated and keeps you up to date on changes and gives you brilliant ideas is being part of a community. Whether that's joining a Facebook group, a Reddit group, forums on the Etsy site itself, get yourself active and involved in a team, a community, in something. It is so much easier if we're not doing this all by ourselves. Some of the forums and teams can really help when Etsy makes changes, you can be up to date on the announcements. People can explain what's going on. People can help you understand better. You can have different viewpoints on things. It's also really great to have a community of people that you can ask for help sometimes if you don't understand something, or even if you just want to know what picture people might like better. You can ask on a group, which picture is better? What's this? What should I do here? It's help with support. Sometimes I've even found it great just to have someone to chat with every day. In the past I've been in team games that yes many years ago hearts and loves games really helped boost your SEO. They don't do that anymore and I've cut back on playing them because I'm so busy with things but what they also used to do it was like a daily thread where we would all post hello look at each other's shop and that was a nice happy healthy habit to be in and quite often people from that group when I was looking to buy gifts I would be more likely to go into people in that group in that thread, in that conversation, because these people were my friends. We chatted to them every day and it got into that habit, like what we're doing just now of doing one thing every day. Every morning with your cup of coffee, I would sit down and play the game, which basically was just chatting to my friends. So if you've got your friends in a community, it's likely if they're looking for to buy something and you make it, they're more likely to come to you than any other shop that they have to search for on Etsy. So teams and groups can really, really help you just keep you motivated. They can be fun and they can give you help and advice. So dive on, have a look on Facebook. There's great teams and groups. Reddit can have some great advice, apparently. I don't like the platform much myself and the Etsy forums and anywhere else. If there's any social media platform that you're active on regularly and you enjoy being on, search out a group, a team, a gathering of people to do with either Etsy or the items that you make, anything that could help with your shop, but helping with your shop, not by spamming, as I've spoke about before. Don't just go on expecting to spam. You're not going on expecting a boost by selling to people. You're expecting a boost by support, by other people who know what you're going through, that you can ask questions and you can answer questions. You can be part of a team. It really just helps to have other people that are in the same boat as yourself. And of course, come along and join us at Pam Duthie's Felting Friends on Facebook, not just for felters, for any artistic and entrepreneurs, whether you're looking to increase your artisticness or you're looking to learn more about selling online. Everyone's lovely and friendly. It's a great group. So come along and join in there. So thank you so much for joining us today and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.